G'day people, I'm Monstad and welcome back to our Imperium 8.6 playthrough, 8.6.3 now, keep updating it. Um, the release of a little bit of a little teaser about Alpha 9 as well, looks cool. Oh, I nearly fell down that hole. Um, as you can see, I'm back at the abandoned mine on Hyron. So that was Uberia, so Hyron, Iona, and then back to Zonris, which was our starting planet. I had to go back for resources. Um, I took out that, what, what was it called, oxygen depot in the last episode, um, and done something rather stupid. Now, yeah, I'll demonstrate actually with this. You know, I'd put that cargo container down, stuck all my loot in it, and I started taking the base apart, that oxygen depot, and I pretty much took it apart to the, down to the ground in the end. But I got near my cargo container and very stupidly did that. And it despawns with everything in it. I lost all of the loot that I gained from that base. Um, so I was a little bit miffed about that, um, to say the least. I was even more miffed than I was when I blew up all the all the stuff inside it with that stupid switch. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'll go back in to Zonris and get a load of stuff. And on the way back, I figured, well, let's get this water depot set up, this little water factory first before anything else. So I had a little scout. Well, I came down on, on higher and I came down over the abandoned mine again, just coincidentally. But it's actually a pretty good spot around here for what I want to do. Um, and I put a little spot marker over here because I think this is the the ideal place for it. So what I try, what I want to do is get uh, a like a water pump factory, I guess you'd think. And I, I, I did say originally I was going to keep it like an organic build, but I've actually changed my mind on that one. I, had, I want a little think about it. I want to do it like kind of like a steampunk build, um, you know. So you got things like look like pumps and things running. Um, and the base will be kind of half in this shallow water and half out of the shallow water. And so basically what this base will do it is, um, it's only going to have about six water generators in it within the base, which will be continually producing water. I'm going to have about six portable um, constructors in another part of the base, which will permanently be kicking out biofuel. Uh, and because this is a heavily forested area, area, which is perfect, what I'm also going to do is build a small grinder ship that I can I can go around and harvest the forest with, and that way I can use all that to make biofuel continually, use the biofuel to continually fuel the water processes and water be continually made in this particular base. So kind of like it, so it's a steampunk theme. That's what I'm going to go for. Um, and I want to do that today. I should have plenty of resources in this thing now to, to get this built, as well as get the hover vehicle built uh, and everything else I need to do. So yeah, that's what I intend to do in this episode. I'm going to fast forward. Oh, I do apologize. That was really noisy outside. Uh, I am we're on a quiet little road here, but every now and then there's there's a couple of vehicles around here that, that have incredibly loud exhausts, and that was one of them. <laughs> Oh well, you can never get away with it, right? But anyway, um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fast forward f uh, most of the build, as in a fast forward build, um, probably four or five times the speed, maybe more. I'll stop every now and then just to sort of talk through the idea I've got, uh, what, where I'm going with it. Uh, and that also helps me to formulate my idea as well if I talk through it. So I'll, it'll, that'll benefit me as well. So that's basically what this episode is going to be about, and I and I've got a really clear sort of vision in mind how I want this to look, and if it turns out the way I want it to, uh, it should look pretty good actually. Um, I do say, if I do say so myself, and I think it will suit this area perfectly. Um, and of course, we've got the abandoned mine over there for resource if we start running out. I've emptied it of all the, the equipment, but there's still a hell of a lot of. Um, steel plate in that building that we could just take apart, salvage all the blocks and we'll get a ton of steel plate to make more steel blocks if we needed to. So yeah, that's that's pretty oh, I got my lights on. No, I don't have my lights on. That's better. You can almost see what we're doing now. So what I'll do is I'll get myself set up 
I'll cut here, get myself set up, put my tent down, sleep until morning, um, figure out where I'm going to start. I'm going to start at one corner of the base, which will probably be about here, uh, and, and I'll work my way from there. And I guess that's what we'll do. I'll have to watch out for those, what are they, Tellerulalala, those water beasts <laughs> that spawn in the shallows. I better keep an eye out for those, because the water's no longer safe, is it? Um, no, I can't see any, but I'm sure there'll be one around somewhere. They're usually shallow water where they spawn. Anyway, so I'll cut there, and I'll get back to you when I'm ready to start the build. So I will catch you later. Okay, welcome back. All right, I think we're just about ready to go with this. Um, I've set up a little campsite here. Um, I made six portable constructors because that's what I'll use, and they'll get transferred over to the base when I'm done. Uh, when I've, as soon as I've put the core down, I'm going to use these Xeno blocks and just stick, use the connector base and just stick a, a little wall around this campsite here, just so I've got a safe area where I can stand and use a drone um, to build. Oh, I can see spiders over there already, look. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's probably a good idea just to secure my little area first before I do anything else. So what I'm going to do is, is I... This is kind of a central point, I think, here. I'm going to dig down and bury the core. Um, as a starting point. Then connect base, secure my campsite, and then I'm going to start the build. So, in a moment, I'll stop there and just fast forward. Oh, yeah. I'm losing connection with drone. Oh. I guess if I need to get closer, well, once I get the, like a platform done with the base, I can stand on the base safely away from critters to to get on with it anyway. Um, as soon as I put power in it, of course, I'll get drone attacks. I've got some turrets ready to go for that very purpose. Is that square? Um, no, it isn't. What do I want? I want it sort of square to that corner there. So I just need to turn myself slightly that that should do it I suppose I better keep an eye on the sky now why did I leave that hole <laughs> oh there it is now is that how I want it um, yeah that should be okay that should be good push it down a bit boom Let's just build that up there so I know exactly where that is from a distance. Ideal. Let's get those. Connect not available. I should need to probably look at the core, don't I? Yeah, connect base. I've never used these Xeno blocks to, to build. I just want a wall. Doesn't need to be anything fancy. Um I guess I'm gonna have to put them down like that first. Yeah, it's not gonna work, is it? Um oh let's just stick a line of blocks. Should have plenty. Secure my campsite. I could have brought in my Alpha 8 campsite, couldn't I, for this? That would have worked. A treat here. Down, down. I should probably secure it across the water as well to stop those creatures coming across. That should do it. I'm not sure whether I like these Xeno blocks or not. I think it sort of suits this little area, doesn't it? This kind of swamp area. Yeah, who knows? 
Okay, well, I am going to stop at this point and start fast forwarding and get on with this build. So I'll see you in a little while. Later. Okay, welcome back. Um, oh, that's probably not in the best place for me to be. Oops. Donk, that's better. Right, it's coming along. Yeah, sort of the kind of thing I was envisaged so far. Um, nowhere near finished. Why is there a block? Oh, I took that block out, didn't I? Um, these are just blockers here. I'm going to put the fuel tank here. What I'm going to do at the moment is stick some power on this thing, which is going to attract drone attacks. And speaking of which, let's get that head-up display up so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure if this is sticking out too far. Hmm, I'll have to see when it's textured. Now, there's some big blank spaces here. What I intend to do here is use the capacitors for the solar cells and the generator and stick them on here with a bit of decor around it as well. I don't mind them being exposed. I think it sort of suits the, the build to do that. In here, um, this area here will be open. This will come sort of round like this, round like this, and then join in there. So this whole area here will be indoors. Um, on here, this will prob area here will probably end up being an SV landing pad 
and although I've put a curved area there I'm probably going to put one more floor just on this bit here um, as another enclosed room yeah I think I'll do that I'm not entirely certain where the entrance is going to be I've, I've sort of took that block out there thinking that's going to be the entrance but I'm still not sure yet hmm so I've got an area for the portable constructors. I mean, this is still very rough, this design at the moment. This, I was going to put a constructor in here. Um, I think it's probably worthwhile having a constructor on hand in case I need stuff. Yep, yeah, so this bit still exposed to water so I can put the water generators down here. And the portable constructors in the other room will produce, as I said, the biofuel to power them. Now I am going to have power in this building. Um, but it's primarily going to run off battery power because pretty much the only thing it's going to need to power is a couple of cannon turrets Which won't be on this building once I know which direction the, the drones will come from uh, I'm go probably going to build a couple of cannon towers To intercept them before they get here because I don't want ca cannon, t cannon turrets on the building. I don't think it would I think it would look a bit odd um, What I might also do is bring this in one as well otherwise we can end up with a huge flat wall at the end there um, although I guess I could no I'm gonna put the power systems around this one yeah I think I might do that um, hmm so what I'm gonna do at the moment is is get the power systems on uh, do, 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 do. first of all I want that so these blocks here I had no intention of leaving. This was always going to be for the fuel. Um, do I want that as a round block? I'll leave it at that for the moment. Uh, I think what I also want to do is maybe pop some of these around this as well. It'll serve two purposes. One, it will make it look more industrial, but two, these have a lot of hit points, so if a drone does get through and a stray rocket comes this way, it's at least going to give it the fuel tank a bit of protection. Um, yeah, and I want the, the power systems and fuel tank exposed because they've got that lovely blue hue to it, and I think with it being a water processing plant primarily, I think that sort of matches the the um, the theme theme that's what I'm thinking of the theme um, let me get a bit closer can I get up onto it I have to go up the lift bear with me try and remember a way around Whee! okay let's do it from there um, and I'll do a similar thing with the the fuel. What I might do is put the, the generator on one wall and the capacitors on the other. I don't need my drill in my hand, do I? Okay. Right, this is going to trigger drone attacks as soon as I put this on here. But I can intercept them with the... Um, yeah, I think I'm that way up. Intercept them with the, with the SV when they arrive. So let's... I guess I want to be able to put blocks above and below it, so... I think right there actually is a good spot and the capacitors um, I don't know what the best let's put it that way for now and we'll see we'll have a look at the other one I think I want that one upside down what about that Oh, that side's got more of the blue showing, hasn't it? Let's kind of put them back to back. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, we'll do. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. So what I'll do during the build, when I fast forward again, is that I'm going to sort of like put some piping type blocks around these things and then you know add the grates to them um, but I want to do a bit of texturing first before I start adding too much stuff around here 
So when I fast forward next, what I'm going to do is a little bit of the texturing before I do any more of the build. So I want to get an idea of the, the kind of look and feel for it. Um, these things here, they don't serve any purpose whatsoever. I just like like the look of them. Um, I think, it, again, it just gives it that industrial feel uh, or, or a pirate gangplank feel <laughs> or walking the plank. Um, yeah, they don't serve any purpose, just, just for looks. Um, just to break up monotonous lengths of the wall. But, okay. All right, well, I'm going to fast forward again in a moment. I'm going to start, I'm going to do a bit of texturing. Um, I'll intercept those drones when they come along, and then I can, I'll can i know where to put my cannon turret. Yeah, okay. I'll see you in a little while. Later. Okay, welcome back. Um, haven't had a drone attack, surprisingly. Mm, I'm sure it'll happen at some point. I've, I mean, I've powered the place now. Hmm. Okay. Um, unsure about this texture. I think it might be a bit too much. I'd like something smoother, but I'd like something. I still want something. Oh, what about that? Um, I still want something like kind of steampunky industrial. That's better. Yeah, that's better. I think I'll, I'll change it all to that one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely. I'll change it all to that. Um, okay, I won't do that right now. I'll do that after. 
just see what it looks like on the corner. Oh yeah, it suits this much better. Okay, cool. Cool beans. I'll go with that. Um, so it's coming along. Still not sure about this bit. It's. I think it's sticking out too much. I think that's the biggest problem with that one. Um, yeah, I may need to... Because it looks like a, an insect clamped onto the side at the moment. It isn't looking quite how I liked it. What I might do is put a single fuel tank here. Uh, that might help, but also move it one closer towards the, the wall. Um, I, I just think it's out too much. But yeah, it's, it's coming along, definitely. Um, now I left this one not enclosed. I, I enclosed this one in the, in the shutter window things, but not this one, so I wasn't sure whether it would be too much or whether it is actually too much. I'm not sure where to leave it open or enclosed. Mm, decisions, decisions. So I've stepped this one in here. I might... I'm, t I'm, t I'm not sure where to round off this edge here and just make it stepped in like this because I I'm going to put one more. That's going to be the SV landing pad up here. Oh, I'll need to straighten these off, won't I? Yeah, okay. Thought about that. Um, so what I might do is just one more outbuilding out here. And if I do that, I'll probably step this in again one more. If I do that, I'm going to have to round this edge off, otherwise it'll look odd. Um, the other th option with this one is to um, leave it open, wanna, uh, put a doorway there and put a balcony along here. Um, that might work. It also sort of breaks up the, the smoothness of everything as well. I'm probably going to need some more balcony blocks. but I think that'll work, yeah. Yeah. I think I'll do that. Um, and then the next one, I'll just leave it as as is up there, but just move, just step it in one. Step it, step it in one. These are the words I'm trying to get out, but not doing very successfully. Now, can I get one there? I don't think I can. Oh, I can that way around. Not look odd though, because it won't be, won't be even. Hmm. I have to think about that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I think I'll I'll keep a balcony there, and then this next one I'm just going to step in, and it'll just be a, a fairly small building. Um, I don't know why I rounded all these off. <laughs> That's actually supposed to be. In fact, you know what? I've, I've put it up too high, haven't I? Because this is supposed to be the SV landing pad. I could actually step this up, couldn't I? To this level. Hmm. And it would be a kind of walkway around the bottom of the the landing pad. I'm sure what to do with that bit there though. If I do that. Um Oh, I'm not sure. I'd, that, that'd go up. Yeah, I'd lose too much of the, the the floor area if I did that. I'll think about that. Because that is supposed to be a floor area like that for an SV landing pad. Hmm. Hmm. I'll think about that one. Okay. Um. But I think it's coming along. Uh, I've got the basic area for the inside up here. I might bring out one actually. I've got plenty of space up here. I don't need this much outdoor space out up here. So I think what I'll do. is 
I ain't bringing out a couple. I've got tons of space up here and I don't really need it. Bring it out to here. And I could do the same on this side as well. And put a on a doorway area here. That gives me a really, really big inside area there. And still quite a nice balcony. Hmm. Yeah. I shall do that, I think. Okay, so that's how it's... Sorry, just lost in thought for a moment there. So that's how it's going. Um, I'm probably going to call it a video here. And I'll... So, I mean, I guess you get the general idea I'm going for now. Um, I'm going to change the outdoor area to this texture rather than this riveted texture. I think it, I think the, the smoother texture texture is nicer. Um, I'm going to play around with this little bit here. I might drop it so it's not like another pump into the water, actually, like this one, because that's what this is supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like a pump into the water. And I think it kind of works, and the, the the nice ambient blue glow from the the fuel tank, I really I think really sets it off. What I might do is do another one of those over here. I don't really need another fuel tank on here, but it doesn't hurt. Um, but just change up the actual design of the pump a little bit. I think that's what's needed here. Um, so another water pump kind th kind of thing over here. Yeah, and then play around to decor the outside, finish some finishing touches. There's some other touches that I want to put around, you know, like this with blocks, just to to put a bit more detailing around certain areas, and I'll I'll work on that. I need to decide finally where the doorways are going to be. I do need to bring out a small area here for a HV parking area. Um, I'm not sure I'd do that. that. I guess kind of an open air garage type thing would probably suit the build. Maybe covered. A ceiling like this walkway grate rather than a, a thick ceiling like this would probably work you know more like a like a sunshade than a than an internal garage yeah I think oh, I've got an idea for that one I think I'll work on that so that's what I'll do between episodes so beginning next episode I shall have a finished building um, I'll work on the inside as well so all my portable constructors will go in this room here I'll have a proper constructor in here, which I probably won't use much, and then the, the water generators will just sit in this room here. And we can sort of put them random, randomly rather than symmetrically. I think that will work better like that. There's even space for more if I needed to. Um, so they'll work pumping out tons of water. I will need storage, a storage area, won't I? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the storage area, whee, if I can get up there. This little room on top here, uh, because it'll be next to the SV landing pad, I think I'm going to have this as my cargo area. And then all the water and biofuel can be stored into, into this area here, ready to be loaded onto an SV for transport back and for the SV I am going to I've got so many plans for this episode for this series <laughs> what I'm probably going to do is build a small SV kind of transport ship so there'll be a couple of underslung cargo containers um, built onto the the SV and it'll be like a little mini warp drive warp capable SV transport ship um, specifically designed so that I can come here that I can go between the different planets that I'm sort of have a a controlling interest in to transfer goods when I need to um, yeah and I think that would be good hmm yes indeedy this will all go this area here will disappear but so far I'm quite pleased with it so far yeah I like how it's going on it's, it's sort of what I had in mind Anyway, well, I'm going to call it an episode there. It's gone way too long. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. I'll get the finished 
thing ready for the next episode. I'm Monstad, and I'll see you later. Bye! Okay, so welcome back. I was going to end the episode there, but <laughs> I figured... Um, well, it, I mean, that was a, about two days ago I was tried to end the episode. I thought I'd actually get this thing finished during this one episode. I thought that would, that would kind of make sense. So I've pretty much got it finished. Um, let me just quickly show you around. We'll talk about this beast in just a moment. So, yeah, let's get the drone out. Um, so I turned these two top bits up here into the storage area. I figured that it would um, that would make sense. A little landing pad for SVs for to, for the cargo. Did change that one up and put a, a another fuel tank there. I think that looks much much better than that thing that was um, on the stuck on the side of the building earlier. Didn't change that. Um, I'm not sure if I changed these colours before or after the end of the last video or, or last sequence. Um, still not sure whether to go with the, the covering on this or not. Um, hmm, not sure. Down here, <laughs> yeah, as I said, I'm busy. Let me put my jetpack on and. Whee! Nailed it. Yeah. Um, I tried to build something that was kind of steampunkish to, to go with the building. I, I don't think it really worked that well. Um, it does the trick though. I mean, I, I went out and cut down half a forest with it. Uh, it works perfectly fine, even though it looks a bit weird. <laughs> but it, it kind of, I guess it kind of suits the, the, the theme we're going for with this one. The lumberjack, that's what I called it. Um, this area here, put my ammo box here. These are just um, blocks with that, that pattern on it, and I thought I thought they looked like, you know, a good um, substitute for crates. Um, nice work. I thought I'd put a little, little cargo area there where we we get in. So inside, this is the area for the port book constructors that are busy making biofuel and they've made tons so far. I chopped down loads and loads of trees and I put a hundred logs into each of these six, which is enough for about 1200 biofuel, I think, by my counts. Got a few logs left over. So this is kind of the, the biofuel construction room. I haven't done a lot with the insides. I've textured, but I haven't put any sort of decor. My constructors back. When I was in the game last, I came down here and the constructor, the constructor, I could access it, but it wasn't there. Couldn't actually see it. Very, very strange. Uh, I put a constructor here, but um, I don't know if I'm ever going to use it. This is the water processing room. I decided to go with a blue theme because it seemed to seem to match Just a couple of those up there. I've got the spare biofuel I've been putting in these, and these have been well on their way. And they're all producing water. I'll have to top up the biofuel before I leave the planet, I think. Yeah, again, haven't done any detailing in these rooms. I've just done the the bare bones of the room at the moment and just a bit of the texturing. But I, I kind of like the way it's looking with the, the pattern around the outside there as well. Um, but it's all working a treat. Um, yeah. Let's go up to here. Same again, texturing done, but nothing much more than that, really. I did leave this out outside area here as a balcony. Um, yeah, it's stuck a fridge and stuff there. It's just to, somewhere to keep the food, somewhere to sleep the nights away. And there's a little balcony area, which um, I think looks quite nice. Again, these aren't really for any practical purpose. I just thought it helped. It, it looked good with the theme of the building so I, I like the way I kind of like the way it's, it's turned out um, yeah it's that kind of functional water processing plant these I think these look like pumps and I think they work quite well yeah and, and that was oh, the guy yeah the garage area I just decided to just put these across with the garage area and just leave the HV pad there like that um, and not do any try and do anything overly complicated with it. So Poseidon Station, that's what I've called it, as you can see by the name tag there. Yeah. Um, can I get up there? 
Yay! Good. That's a quick way. Right, this, you'll notice the um, the warp scout that I was using is now gone. I took that apart and threw it in the factory. I went into creative mode um, in my creative game and played around with like a cargo SV de design. And this is what I kind of came up with. Um, I didn't really finish off the nacelles very well. I did it up to there, but I've left these. These look a bit odd. They're just hanging there, floating in midair. I need to do something with that and change that round and get these attached. Mm. But yeah, plenty of cargo space on this thing. Loads of thrust and power. Um, but it's not supposed to be a, a combat ship. It's purely a cargo ship. Uh, these are coloured differently because that's my, my, a lot of my ship stores. And that's stuff for sale. Um, I did raid another abandoned mine. I did a bit of exploration whilst I was waiting for the portable constructors to create a load of biofuel so I could start the thing going. Found another abandoned mine. Uh, another interesting thing I found further around here. Where are they? Small wreckages. This is um, named as a starter biome, this area here. And these are the small wreckages. And there's the main wreckage. So this is the, the actual starting planet if if I if you started this seed with the temperate star, this would be it. So yeah, the starter biome is actually there. Um, that's quite surprised. I was just a little bit surprised to find that. Found a couple of other things. Like I said, I had another, found another abandoned mine, so I, I raided that one as well. Got all the stuff from it. Uh, got some pretty good loot from that, which I put somewhere. Not sure where. Oh yeah, here. Yeah, even more armor again. Yeah, lots of good stuff again. All the stuff from the other SV I had that I've been collecting as we were exploring it is all in these three containers here so I need to transfer all of that back to the cargo ship now. Uh, I've called it the Eagle cargo hauler because it sort of reminded me uh, of Eagle 1 from Space 1999. Uh, very poor example of Eagle 1 but it, it was just the shape and whatever it just sort of kind of reminded me of that so that's what I called it. That's what I called it. Um, not too expensive to to bring in through the factory. Ego cargo hauler, 440 iron, 250 coal work, copper yet. I mean, I had tons of equipment. I just, as well as taking apart that warp scout I had and throwing all those bits back into the factory, I had tons of stuff, equipment, I just threw into the factory to get that, the, the resource I needed for it. And it, I think it took about 10 seconds to manufacture as well. So, yeah, ideal. So these are just the cargo holding areas up here. Um, more for show than anything else. But yeah, I, I like the way it's turned out. It's sort of what I had in mind. So we're pretty much finished on this planet now. Uh, apart from coming back every now and then and refilling the the water generators with fuel, um, chopping down a few more trees and topping up the portable constructors to make more biofuel and then collecting the water we have. So, you know, we'll come back every now and then and do that. Uh, apart from that, you know, we're pretty much good to leave this place and, and head back. So yeah, I think I've finished on Hiron. Um, a good mid stopping point really, because from we go from Uberius to Hiron, then to Iona, and then we get back to Zomris where the, the fort is. So it's a really good midpoint between these as well. Um, yeah, and a nice planet to have this on, I think. So there you go. So I will definitely end the episode now. Thank you again for watching this one and bearing with the buildy episode. I'm pretty pleased the way it turned out. Um, let me know what you think or if you think there are any other ways it could be improved. Um, I'm not brilliant at detailing things. Uh, I still got a lot to learn with that. So if you have any suggestions, I'm, I'm more than happy to hear them and try a few things out. And until then, I'm Monstad and I will see you later. Bye.